Open standards are important for the industry because for really decades, we've been struggling with data interoperability, right? Where data gets stuck in one place or another, uh, and then you have to move it over painfully. Uh, it means that studios typically have to build fairly elaborate pipelines to manage data interoperability, build custom tools, things like that. USD is a really exciting technology that's really uh, exploded across the industries over the last few years and we're really embracing it. So what we want to do is bring USD into our products and allow artists to, to collaborate between Max and Maya. And we want to make it so that you can pretty much use our tools and stay inside of our ecosystem from the modeling, to the look dev, animation, VFX, and rendering. One of the most exciting things in Maya is really the release of Look Dev X. Look Dev X is Agnostic Material Editor is currently tasked to resolve USD material story. We're actually adding material workflows everywhere in Maya. So as a customer, I should feel comfortable editing materials anywhere. Look Dev X supports Material X and Arnold Notes like standard surface. So the fact that that can all be published in USD and then move between different host applications is a big deal. This is an entire new workflow. Uh, and I think it's going to change how people do look development and surfacing because we're really heading toward a future where you'll be able to build materials that are truly portable. We implemented uh, Bifrost USD, the Operator SDK, and uh, Bifrost USD open source as kind of a three-part plan. We delivered Bifrost USD, which was an integration of USD into the Bifrost graph. In Bifrost 2.5, we released the Operator SDK. And this is an SDK that allows you to wrap external C++ uh, code and bring it into Bifrost. The third part of this plan was to release our Bifrost USD plugin as an open source project, which gives users a, a great starting point and example for you know, a real project built with this. Hydra for Maya is a technology preview for the first release of Maya, uh, and it enables customers to utilize Hydra as a framework. USD is the data format in the description model, but you need to visualize it somehow, and there it comes Hydra in and not only visualize USD data and put that data to the renderer, you can also mix and match, like uh, is it native data in 3ds Max or Maya, combine it with USD data, and then visualize it with whatever render, renderer it was, what you want. Color management in 3ds Max basically boils down to helping artists uh, have consistent and predictable colors from start to finish. So that means colors coming in from textures all the way to the render output, those colors stay the same basically throughout their time in 3ds Max. The fact that we're going to be controlling colors or letting people have control over the colors uh, will go a long way to have artists just be able to create and forget the technical side of things. Artists just want to create, you know, and they don't think of themselves as a, you know, I'm a this artist or a that artist. They just think of themselves as creatives and we want to provide them with great tools on top of these standards to create.